Uh, which way am I going? I'm heading this way, right? Um... Oh, this is the kitchen. I think maybe I can pick something up here. You mon petite? We're busy here. What the fuck? I have no idea what he just said to me. You guys got anything for me? Saw an oddball in the trash. In the trash? An oddball? A grape ball! The fuck are you throwing grape balls in the trash for? Er, um, indeed. I am le chef. I am le chef. Le main course is... Il... what? Oh, eels. <laughs> for some reason, seeing the capital next to the lowercase, like, bugged me out. Eels and barbecue. The guests will be mutiny. What the fuck? Speak to me, damn it. Did you hear about Snorlax? All it does is eat and sleep. That sounds like the life. Schnibble, schnibble. I only get to peel onions. Humdy dumdy dumdy ho. I peel spuds every day. Nope, there's only trash here. Only trash here. I'm so busy, I'm getting dizzy. Alright, well, I guess I came here for a great ball. That's great. Alright, out of my way, sailor. What the hell, there's another? Huh. I don't know where this leads. Maybe outside? Oh, it does lead outside. Ahoy there! Are you seasick? No, I'm not. I'm fine. I don't get motion sickness. And you're dead. It's super effective. Level 23. Oh my fucking god. You guys are leveling up too damn fast. I might stop fighting people. I'm getting a shit ton of critical- Oh my god, you know why I'm getting criticals so many fucking times? It's because Gen 1, it's based off the speed stat. I was just careless. You were. You sent out two Pokemon that were that were not a good match against me. The party over the ship will be departing soon. Wait, what? The part what? The party's over. Okay, <laughs> the party's over. Yeah, but um, hey Mitty. Let's do a little let's do a little egg? Did I say egg or jig? Wants to fight. Sends out Machamp. Yeah, but I forgot the uh, criticals are based on speed stat, and both both Gyarados and fucking Kadabra are pretty fast Pokemon. I want to point out that even though we have a Spearow with us, technically our team, our main team, is only three Pokemon right now. <laughs> like Jesus. Honestly, I can get rid of Spearow right now. I just kind of have it with me, just in case. Scrubbing the decks is hard work. I feel ill. I stepped out to get some air. I don't know why I didn't read that. I just kind of stared at it. <laughs> For a moment, I forgot that I was recording, and I was like, I'm just playing Pokemon. I'm just stare at the words they're saying. Alright, um, I came up here, was there like, okay, there was no other, no other passageway. In all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. What the fuck? I love how Snorlax is like, paint me like one of your French girls. <clears throat> Check out what I fished up. You guys should check out what I fished up last night. I cooked some salmon. And that shit was delicious. I didn't like... I didn't like, um... Whatchamacallit. 
Like, I've been trying to lose weight recently. Well, not recently, that's a lie. I've been trying to lose weight for like the past couple months and it's been doing good. It's been doing great, right? But then for the past couple of weeks, I was like, man, I'm not really losing anything. I gotta change my diet up. And I started doing that. Started doing that. And I was like, you know what? Since I'm changing up my diet, might as well start measuring shit. Be one of those people. So then I made some salmon last night. You know, after counting all the calories and bullshit. I made myself some salmon. And I was going over, like, you know, I was going over, like, my numbers and stuff, and I was like, damn. I can have, like, a big-ass, a big-ass serving of salmon if I want to tonight. Because I had, like, a lot of calories left over. And I didn't even use all the calories last night. Because I was stuffed. I made some good-ass salmon, and it was delicious. I made so much that... That I'm kind of just eating it for today, honestly. <laughs> I had salmon for breakfast. For lunch, I'm going to have, like, a piece of salmon and some salad. And then for dinner, I'm going to have more salmon. Because I made a lot, and, and it tastes fucking fantastic. Competing against the young keeps me useful. I like the young folk. A Pikachu. I can totally use a Pikachu for, like, a pillow. Oh my fucking god. You're almost... You're almost strong. Well, you're not even almost strong. You're stronger... You're as strong as goddamn Venusaur right now. Chill out. No more room for items. Fuck! Damn it. What do I got on me? TM. What is this? Contains Bide. Honestly, I'm not gonna use Bide. Get that shit out of my inventory. Oh wait, no, 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 I can sell it. Damn it, what can I get rid of that that isn't worth anything to me right now? I thought Ethers didn't exist in the in Gen 1. I think I said that earlier in this playthrough. I guess they do. God damn it! <laughs> I mean, it's a fair trade for Max either. I'll take it. Ah, oh, yes, I have seen some Pokemon ferry people across the water. Pokemon can cut down small bushes. Oh my god, is this the room? I think this is the room where you can rest. Which do you like? A strong or rare Pokemon? I like a strong Pokemon, please. Most rare Pokemon aren't really that strong. Oh shit, why do I still have two scoops in front? You're level 25. I'm gonna switch you out. Time for Magikarp to get some fucking experience. Magikarp, my bad. Uh, Gyarados. The King of Cut! Magikarp. Critical hit. Oh my god, fucking 500? I must salute you! you Give me a shit ton of money, too. I'm gonna switch you out now. Oh no, I guess I don't rest here. I never saw you at the party. Well, you're seeing me now. Hey, girl, what's up? A Rotata. Pikachu? Oh, this can be bad. I'm time I'm four times weak to it. But that doesn't count in Gen 1, I think. <laughs> so I think I'm just weak to it. Take it easy. Rare candy. At this rate, I won't even need to use the fucking missing no glitch for the rare candy. Have you gone to the Safari Zone in Fuchsia City? It had many rare kinds of Pokemon. Me and my daddy think the Safari Zone is awesome. I think your dad's a bitch. I hear many people get seasick. 
captain looks really sick and pale. Oh, I guess you can't rest it in the SSN Engine 1, can you? So anyways, why don't you walk up here, make sure you save your game, and prepare to fight the rival. Bonjour, Red! Imagine seeing you here. Red, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I really I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in the grassy areas. He just said like a bunch of broken sentences. Did you change your sprite? I think his sprite changed. Go! King of Cop, Magic Cop. Now, let's sit back and just watch Gyarados destroy his whole entire team. Mm-hmm. You're gonna want a Gyarados on your team, damn it. Oh, Eradicate? Man. That's crazy. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Eradicate's down. Kadabra. Oh shit. Oh no, not Kadabra. Oh no. <laughs> Charmeleon? You got this, buddy. I believe in you. Lear? Why the fuck would you. What? Well, I guess I mean, because I'm a fucking tank. Oh no. Huh. At least you're raising your Pokemon. Oh yeah, you think? I heard there was a Cut Master on board, but he was just a seasick old man. But Cut itself is really useful. You should go see him. Smell ya. I just realized I didn't get the map from his fucking sister. <laughs> Oops, my bad. I should I should have done that. Ugh, I feel hideous. Ugh, seasick. Rub, rub. I'm only rubbing his back. Nothing else. Ew, thank you. I feel much better. You want to see my cut technique? I could show you if I wasn't ill. I know. You can have this. Teach it to your Pokemon. And, and, uh, what? Teach it to your Pokemon and you can see it cut anytime. Oh no, you have no room for this. Motherfucker. I forgot, HMs take space too. Fuck. What is this? Bubble beam. I mean... I'm not really gonna have any other Pokemon that... Here you go. Learn bubble beam, dammit. Give me the goddamn cut move. I might need a Meowth. Maybe we can test out my theory. See if I was right. HMO one cut. Thank you. Did you do a Pokemon? No! <laughs> Damn it. Woo. Delete a move? Ooh, no. Yes. God damn it. That was scary. Ah, shit. Yeah, you can't. Alright. Damn it. Well, we'll go catch a. I guess we'll catch a Meowth then. I remember Meowth not being able to use Cut or some. Some Pokemon not be able to use Cut for some goddamn reason. But yeah, once you obtain Cut, you can just walk on out the SSN. There's nothing else here for you, honestly. Just a couple of fights if you want. A great ball, I guess. An opportunity to earn a lot of money because you're fighting a bunch of rich people. And once you do that, goodbye SSN, we will never see you again. Uh-huh. 
Uh-huh. I also like how the SS hand itself is not the thing that's moving. It's the fucking... F it's the water current that it's on. Because <laughs> the water's moving and the rest of the water is stagnant. It's fucking weird. Anyways, once you get cut, you can now head over to Vermilion City Gym. But first of all, I guess I'm gonna take my... Oh shit, hold up. I just realized I'm gonna end up killing one of the goddamn... I'm gonna end up killing whatever Pokemon I want to get. If I send out Gyarados. So, I'm pretty sure Meowth can't learn Cut. I'm pretty sure. If I see a Meowth, I'm catching it. Bellsprout can totally learn Cut, though. Don't kill it. Fury attack. Don't kill it. One more. Alright, you're fine. You're fine! I'm gonna send you to a fucking glue factory. Hey, Meowth. Alright, it's level 10. Don't kill it. Don't. Good job. Where's my fucking Pokeballs? I got two. Hey, Meowth caught. Aww. Meowth, you're adorable. You wanna give it a nickname? No, it's not worth it. Alright. Let me see. HM. Alright. <laughs> Not able to learn. <laughs> Meow. Jesus. Alright, so. I knew I was goddamn right. I knew it. So, um. HMs. Let me explain what that is real quick. HMs are the same thing as TMs. They're technical moves. Well, they stand for hidden moves. TM stands for technical moves. Any moves that can, um, that help you traverse the overworld. Honestly, HMs is something that stick around for Pokemon for way fucking longer than it needs to. Because there's other, like, spin-off games in Pokemon, along with the main series, that use items that help you traverse the world. And you don't need HMs for them. It won't be until, um... Maybe X and Y, I think, is the first time they stop using HMs? I don't know. Come on, where the fuck is the Bellsprout? I need one. Come on, Bellsprout! Yeah, but HMs in Gen 1, uh, I think even in Gen 2, maybe up till Gen 3, I'm not sure. You teach them to your Pokémon, and they can use... They can use the move to help you traverse the world, get past certain obstacles and stuff like that, but you can't delete them. You, I mean, in Gen 1, you can't delete them. In Gen 2, there's going to be a move deleter. But you can't overwrite them with other moves, sadly, once you teach it to a Pokemon, which makes them kind of special in that regard. But it wouldn't be too much of a problem if HMs themselves were actually useful in fights. There's only like a handful of them that are, and moves like Cut is just fucking terrible. Right? So there's really... There's really no fucking reason for it. Also, it sucks because there are moves, like later on in Pokemon games, called like Fury Cutter and stuff like that, and fucking X Scissor and shit like that. You know, Fury Swipes, right? And it's like, none of those moves can cut down trees around the fucking, around the world. Only cut can. Air cutter, that doesn't work either. Like, what the fuck? Alright, Bellsprout, nice. HM bitch. Use, I don't want to use pack. Use fear attack. Only attack it two, maybe three times. There we go. You're fine. You're fine. I might need to make a save state. <laughs> I might need to make a save state. Alright, cool. No save states. Nice. I really didn't want to use a save state. Bellsprout can learn cut. Most grass types can learn cut. Alright, cool. 
Here you go, Bellsprout. Hey, cool. I guess I'll carry Meowth with me. Until we get our next Pokemon. Why not? I'm not gonna use Meowth. But anyways, before you head over to the Vermilion Gym, make sure you come to the Pokemon Center. Heal up your Mons. Head to the Pokemart. If you need some Paralyzed Heals, go pick it up. Me, I'm not too worried about it. Choose your Pokemon you want in the front row. It's definitely not going to be HM, bitch. And then, ah, oh, motherfucker, I keep doing that. And then, step your ass on inside the gym. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Oh, I forgot. In Gen 1, you have to go to your Pokemon list. Bellsprout. Cut. There you go. Alright. Yo, champ in the making. Lieutenant Surge has nicknamed people refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Birds and water Pokemon are at risk. Beware of paralysis, too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. You'll have to break a code to get to him. God, this is gonna suck. So, Lieutenant Surge is known for three things. Four things. Being an asshole in the anime. Uh, being American. Uh, fighting in the war. And being a dickhead with these goddamn trash cans. So what I recommend to do is just fight everybody in the room and then begin to wish you were burning in hell because this room sucks. This is no place for kids. Now the reason I wasn't using my Venusaur in the SSN is because grass Pokemon have somewhat of a resistant to um, electric type, right? They're not super effective against Electric type, but you know, they have somewhat of a resistance. At least that's how I always saw it. I think they're resistant. I'm not sure. You know what? Don't quote me on anything. I'm stupid. Another Pikachu. I wonder if Tackle would do more. Because Vine Whip is considered special in this game. Oh, Tackle's doing way more. Oh, no, that was a critical. Never mind. <laughs> well, Tackle's gonna do less now. Yeah, of course. Another critical. Nice. Wow. Surprised me. Cool. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. Rocker wants to fight. That's a rocker? What are you holding? I don't know what he's holding. A Voltorb? Ow. That was a critical? Man, I feel bad for you. I don't like that sound because I'm wearing headphones. <laughs> that actually hurts my ears a bit. Go, tackle. I should really be throwing leech life on you guys, but it won't really do much, will it? Hey, level 36. Magnemite. Go, vine whip. Am I almost out of vine whip? You gotta be kidding me. keep forgetting you're not a steel type in Gen 1 and I can just tackle you and not worry about it. There we go. Voltorb, again? 
I wonder how much defense Voltorb has. Like regular defense. Sonic Boom, you son of a bitch. Hmm, alright. Yeah, no, that Sonic Boom is definitely gonna fuck me up. So, I'm gonna switch on out. Go, Meowth, you can do it. I believe in you. What the fuck? <laughs> Meowth, your sprite is terrible. You're fine, Meowth. Walk it off. You're fine, Meowth. Don't worry about it. You're fine. You're fine. You're good. Keep going. You're good. Good job, Meowth. I knew you can do it. Does Sonic Boom have a set amount of damage it does? I think I think it does. Oh shit. You know what? Maybe wasting a turn on Leech Life isn't a good idea. I'll survive another hit, right? Oh, you're not using Sonic Boom no more. Okay, cool. Yeah, wasting that turn on Leech Life wasn't really worth it. I don't know why I did it. Fired. Yep. You are fired. Did you say fired or fried? I think it said fried. Yeah, fried. Ba 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 ba. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. Commanding officer? Go, Pikachu. I love how I don't have to worry about physically coming into contact with the Pikachu, because static doesn't exist in this game. That's how much that tackle does, right? Well, it's using growl, so fucking never mind. It's not a good comparison. Oh, come on, man. That's what I didn't want to happen. You're an asshole, Pikachu. Stop! You're very good! <laughs> My Pokémon is dying! It's already dead! Come on. Don't I have, like, a... Full heal or something? Ah, shit. Aw, oh, my Pokemon's paralyzed, and I don't want to walk out. God damn it. Alright, anyways, near Lieutenant Surge's gym, in order to open this door here, you gotta fucking check the trash can for a code or some bullshit. So you defeat the trainers and you talk to them. Sets up double locks here. Here's a hint. When you open the first lock, the second lock is right next to it. Which can be a possibility of four to three different directions. Okay, I'll talk. Said hit the switches inside something. Alright. The door won't open. The chin is always was cautious. Right. Nope, not here. Now, it really sucks. I know what you're thinking. You're like, well then fucking find the two trash cans. You need to do it and just sweat and just hit the switch, right? Here's the thing that sucks. Whenever you find the switch, and you don't get it the second time, it changes locations. Hey, there's a switch under here. Turn it on. That's the first one. So now, it's either this one, or this one. Nope! And then it resets. Now you gotta find the first switch again. Hey, there's a switch. Turn it on. Now it's either this, 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 or this. I'm gonna go with this one. Hey, Second try! Nice! Fucking job! I'm a god amongst men. I'm actually really happy that we didn't spend a long time there. Hey kid! What do you think you're doing? You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. I tell you, kid, Electric Pokemon saved me during the war! They zapped my enemies into paralysis, and then I gunned them down with my AK and I went. 
And then, a bunch of Pokemon theorists were born that day. Check out my Gluteus Maximus. So, Lieutenant Surge. If Misty was a little bit difficult for you, Lieutenant Surge might be the same. I honestly think Lieutenant Surge might be the last time in Gen 1 where the gym leader becomes kind of a pain in the ass. So Lieutenant Surge has three Pokemon. I believe it's Voltorb, Magnemite, and a Raichu? Maybe Pikachu? I don't think he has Raichu. Someone is calling my phone. What the fuck? I can't reach my phone where I'm at right now, so I'm just gonna have to ignore it. Alright, um... So... Mainly because I'm somewhat paral uh, paralysis Somewhat paralyzed. I'm gonna Leech Seed you. Also, since Lieutenant Surge is using Electric-type Pokémon primarily... Oh shit, really? I got, no, I got nothing left for that? Damn it. Um... He's gonna be pretty fast. Now, I want it to use Kush for this fight, so that I won't have that much trouble, right? Because it's a grass type. But, you know, since I don't have Vine Whip, apparently. Okay. Game gave me a bit of a, a bit of a break there with Voltorb. That's nice. Hey, 27. Nice. Learning a new move? Nope. A Pikachu. Okay, so he doesn't have Raichu. Alright. Leech Seed. Quick attack. Oh, shit. There we go. Just tackle. Since I don't... Oh, shit. That's not gonna be good. Alright, never mind. Moving on to the next plan. Since you're using Growl on me. Did I miss? Oh, I... No, I didn't miss. I got hit with Paralysis. Um, good thing I have this. X-Speed. Oh, you're using item too, you little bastard. You don't need no more speed, you're already faster than me. Go ahead, use your growl. That's why I got my vine whip back, bitch. That wasn't even a critical, that was just a taste. That was a taste of what's to come. Now, this is why, if you're having a hard time with Lieutenant Surge, there's a Diglett cave right next to the goddamn town, so you can run in there, grab yourself a Dig Diglett, which is a ground-type Pokémon, which is super effective against electricity Pokémon, and not only that, but electricity does not affect ground-type Pokémon. Now, funny thing about Lieutenant Surge, I believe... I believe in the... In Fire Red and Leaf Green, he ends up getting a Doug Trio. Oh, he does have a Raichu. Oh, he doesn't have a Magnemite. Okay. That's a big boy. I love how Raichu's just like, Hey, you guys! It's me. It's me, Raichu. Thunderbolt! My special's fine. I'm a grass type. Not very effective. Haha. -ha. Leech Seed. You're fucked, Lieutenant Surge. Fine, whip. Whip that boy. Whip that fatty. Watch out! This is why Leech Seed is such a great move. It's kind of underutilized, if you ask me. Oh, Growl is useless, little one. Young Padawan. You cannot lower my attacks. I'm too powerful for you. And there we go. The hardest part about Lieutenant Surge is that goddamn right you. Whoa. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then. Take the Thunder Badge. And some money, too. The Thunder Badge cracks you... Wait, what? <laughs> cracks. The other... Uh, fuck. I lost my ability to speak. The Thunder Badge cranks your, uh, up your Pokemon's speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly anytime, kid. You're special, kid. 
Take this. Nice. It contains Thunderbolt. Teach it to an electric Pokemon. That's cool. Nope, only trash here. Cram full of Pokemon books. Nice. And that's it for Lieutenant Surge. That's nice. Now I'm gonna head on back to the Pokemon Center. And then, uh, I think that's a good stopping point for now. We did a lot. We got a lot done here, right? Went to the SSN. Fought Lieutenant Surge. Basically beat Vermilion City. So next time we play more Pokemon Blue together, I think I'm gonna head back into Cerulean City, switch out the bike voucher for a bike, and then we're going to head through the Diglett Cave so that we may obtain our HM Flash and then uh, move on to... Uh... Oh shit, where else do we go? <laughs> I think we start heading to... We don't head to Fuchsia City next, do we? I don't know. I, I don't remember every city's name. You know what? Off screen, I'm actually going to run back and grab that town map because I need to do that. So... You know what? I don't even need to do that off screen. We'll do it in the next part. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like watching the Pokemon Blue uh, playthrough and you're excited for more of the Pokemon Marathon over the next couple of months, you know, we're going to we're going to be playing a lot of Pokemon, right? Make sure you uh, you know, make sure you subscribe, click that bell, get more Pokemon, right? In the description below is a link to my Twitch and Twitter if you're interested in that. And, yeah, if you like what you see, please click on the like button, share it with the peoples out on the internet, let them know, hey man, this guy's kind of cool, I guess, maybe, maybe you want to watch this guy, I'm not sure, I don't know, do what the hell you want to do, I can't judge you around. So, anyways, that's it for now. Once again, I want to say thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. Stay safe.